All right, and the reason why I go to such depths in explaining this process is because if you understand how computer circuits work, this is gonna cut your troubleshooting time in half, basically, okay? Hi everyone, this is Michael Eilbrock with Diesel Training, and today in this Tech Tip video, we're gonna go over how to use your Power Probe 3 to do a voltage drop test of your of a uh, pressure sensor circuit okay so the pressure sensor circuit that we're going to test is just this exhaust gas pressure sensor right here it's a three wire sensor so you have a five volt reference you have a ground and then you have a signal wire okay and we're also going to use our diesel tablet 2 here to look at the exhaust gas pressure sensor signal wire voltage data so we can compare the voltages that uh, we are seeing with our Power Probe 3 versus the Diesel Tablet 2. So on the Diesel Tablet 2 here, what I have done is I've already got it set up on looking at the data and I'm graphing the signal voltage of the exhaust gas pressure sensor. And I also have set up a min-max alarm to go off if the voltage goes below half a volt. So what's going to happen here is if this signal voltage goes below half a volt, an alarm is going to sound for you when you're graphing with the diesel tablet. Okay, So when it goes past that threshold, an alarm will sound. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a volt drop test. So like I said when uh, in prior videos, and I say this over and over again, Anytime you do a voltage drop test, ladies and gentlemen, you need to make sure that you're plugged in with that connector you're checking. The circuit has to be on, current has to be flowing to see a voltage drop. So make sure you tie into the circuit by either using a back probe pin or a breakout lead. Um, if you have to pierce, I understand, but I'm not a really big fan of piercing. If you do pierce, please seal the wire back up with liquid electrical tape, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and let's do the test. All right, so I'm going to first back probe the feed wire here. And if we look here on the display, I've got 5.1 volts. So my 5 volt reference wire is good. Now I'm going to go to the ground wire, back probe it. And I have 0.0, .0 volts and I have a green light. The beeper would go off too if I had it on. See? Then I can turn it off, and now I know I have a good ground for the sensor circuit. And then the next one I'm going to check is the signal output of the sensor. So I have 0.9 volts on the tool, and right now on the scan tool, if you look, my exhaust gas pressure sensor signal voltage says I'm at 0.88 volts. So that's very close. That's good enough for me. So what I am seeing with my Power Probe 3 and what I'm seeing at the scan tool matches. So that tells me that all the wiring is good going to this sensor and I don't have a problem. Okay, so this is how you check the circuit. Now, another thing I want to show you here is you can also do a bypass test where you can just take a jumper wire just like so and you'll unplug the exhaust gas pressure sensor connector and you'll put one uh, end of the test lead on the five volt put the other end of the test lead on the signal wire and you're going to jump five volts to it and the reason why i know how to do this is because this is a pull down circuit so when i unplug this connector there's going to be zero volts on that signal wire because the sensor is outputting the signal on the sensor wire, okay? So watch when I unplug this. Now, when I unplugged it to do the bypass test, you'll notice that my signal voltage went down, it went below my min-max, and now the alarm is triggering on the tool to let you know that there's a problem happening, okay? All right, so we have zero volts now. All right, now, if I go to the signal wire, and I touch it here, and then let me get the power probe. If you look here on the power probe, I got zero volts. All right, so what this means is this signal circuit is a pull-down design, 
okay? And the reason why I'm not getting a green light and a beep and only 0.0, .0 volts on the Power Probe 3 is because my resistance is right below 20,000 ohms and it's above 2,000 ohms. And that's for the specification with the Power Probe 3. So this is basically going through the pull down resistor that is inside the ECM. Okay, well, okay, that's all nice, right? But here's the thing, this is why I'm telling you about this. This is basically telling you that you have continuity going through that wire, going through the computer, and it's basically telling you that the wire's not broke. Now, it's not a full voltage drop test, mind you, but it's, it's at least telling you that the wire is not broken, okay? Now, to do the bypass test, I'm just gonna take my wire here from my Power Probe 3, and I'm gonna jump the five volt signal or the five volt reference to the signal wire. So let me get this in here. And then I'll put this on the signal wire. And as you can see here, my alarm went off and I've got close to five volts now going on that signal wire as we can see on the scan tool. So I've just proved out without a doubt, 100% accuracy that all the wiring that goes to this sensor is good. We don't have a wiring problem, okay? All right, and the reason why I go to such depths in explaining this process is because if you understand how computer circuits work, this is gonna cut your troubleshooting time in half, basically, okay? You don't have to go through as many troubleshooting trees. If you understand how a computer thinks and how it works, diagnostic time is cut significantly. Now, I'm not telling you not to read your service manual. You absolutely need to read the service manual, but you need to learn how to think for yourself, okay? So that's why I'm showing you this, all right? So that's pretty much it for today. Um, if uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for the video if you liked it. And uh, I hope everyone has a good day and take care. Thank you.